June 2nd, 2014, the day when Telangana succeeded in achieving its own separate state. The demand for autonomy on the basis of social, culture, economic and politics has been a 50-year-long struggle. But why? Unified Andhra Pradesh has been performing well since independence. It's because Telangana and Andhra Pradesh were once two separate states. The Telugu-speaking regions were divided into Telangana, Rayalaseema and coastal Andhra. During the rule of Mir Nizam Ali Khan, the British had occupied Rayalaseema and coastal Andhra, which later became the part of the Madras Presidency, leaving the Nizams with only Telangana, which was also known as the Hyderabad state back then. A few years later, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, the nation's then Home Minister, pledged to push all the princely states into the Indian Union. However, the then Nizam, who controlled the Telangana region at the time of independence in 1947, declined to join the Indian Union. To terminate the Nizam era, the Indian Army decided to take police action, often known as Operation Polo, against the state of Hyderabad. In the 1950s, a social and political movement called Vishal Andhra began in response to the reorganization of states on the basis of language. The main objective of the movement was to maintain unity among the Telugu-speaking regions, merging Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and other parts of the present-day Tamil Nadu together. The movement attained a lot of power through various rallies, protests and public agitations. However, the biggest obstacle to the movement, despite sharing the same language, was the difference in development of the regions of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Telangana was never in favour of the merger. Even the local population was extremely against the union with Andhra. Why? Many of the civil service positions and career opportunities in the Telangana region were taken up by the immigrants of the Andhra area. And because Andhra Pradesh was ruled by the British, the colonizers' administrative practices gave people of Andhra with their English education and better exposure an edge over the locals. This caused a great deal of resentment. There was also a point where people would make false mulki certificates and buy huge lands and settle down. While the Telangana region was not backward, it wasn't rich either. Being under the Nizam's rule, the region trailed behind in English language educational facilities and employment opportunities, making it vulnerable to exploitation. Even after the Vishalandra movement, problems remained. In 1952, the Mulki agitation, which started off at Warangal as a major student agitation, intensified and then saw a huge support in the Telangana region. This agitation was a significant event that shaped how people felt about the state's reorganization. On February 28, 1956, however, a political agreement was made between the leaders of Andhra and Telangana before the formation of Andhra Pradesh, known as the Gentlemen's Agreement. The intention was to safeguard employment and education opportunities and prevent any sort of discrimination against the people of Telangana. But this agreement was violated and there were several challenges in its implementation which led to more grievances by Telangana. These events and prolonged discrimination laid the groundwork for Telangana's demand for its own separate state, leading to the bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh. I am Andhra and you're watching India Today So South.